Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to make a quick video today about getting dog hair out of car upholstery because I am asked this all the time. So the first thing I always tell people is that prevention is key as with everything else. If you brush your dog frequently, you'll help to get rid of a lot of that shed hair. And as you can see on this seat, I have a car seat cover. Um, I usually have one on my passenger seat, but I've taken it off just for this video. Uh, car seat covers can be a lifesaver when it comes to saving dirt, debris, wear and tear on your upholstery. When you take the car seat cover off, the upholstery looks like new. Um, I recommend getting car seat covers that are washable. Throw them in the wash, get rid of all the dog hair, all the dirt, all the stains, whatever's on there, washes off, and you can put your car seat cover right back on so you never have to worry about that. This is Joey. Um, he wanted to make an appearance in the video today, apparently. Um, so at, prevention is key. Um, obviously, if something happens and you um, don't have a car seat cover or, um, you know, your dog jumped in when the car seat covers weren't on, whatever the case may be, um, if you have dog hair in your upholstery, it is easier to remove than you might think, even those little tiny hairs that get stuck into the upholstery. Um, my first tip is use fabric softener. Fabric softener is actually designed to loosen hair that's stuck in clothing and upholstery. So I mix a couple of teaspoons of fabric softener in an empty spray bottle full of water, spray it on, um, and it'll help to loosen those hairs so that you can wipe it um, off. Once that mixture dries, you can wipe it off. Um, squeegees work really well. If you don't have squeegees, just a pair of rubber gloves. Rubber gloves, the, um, the hair sticks to the rubber. So once you spray the fabric softener and it's dried, you can just put on a rubber glove, wipe your hand across the seat, and you'll notice the hair sticking to the rubber glove and pulling easily out of the upholstery. Um, obviously, you'd want to vacuum first. I did forget to mention that to get, you know, all of the, the dirt, the debris, and any, you know, loose hair that's already on there. Um, so once you've already done a vacuuming, then you would work on the stuff. Duck hair. I did forget to mention that. Um, I should have said that first. Then spray your fabric softener and you should be able to remove it with rubber gloves. Um, squeegees work great if you happen to have one. Some people have those because they use them actually to remove dog hair from carpeting as well. Um, and then if all else fails, uh, lint rollers are great, but sometimes with really stuck on hair, I like to use duct tape. So I just take a piece of duct tape um, and roll it like that. I usually uh, put it around my finger or, you know, wrap it around your hand and you can just sort of use that um, as a, a homemade sort of lint roller, but it's a little bit stickier um, and there's more adhesive than there are on the little lint roll paper. So it helps to pull dog hair out of your upholstery. Um, this is my Beagle Molly. All my dogs obviously want to get in the car, so I'm going to wrap this up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video guide.